In the middle of the Jurassic period, dinosaurs that had feathers began to develop the ability to fly. The first feathered dinosaurs overcame the force of gravity and took flight, leaving the surface of the Earth behind. At this time, their limbs were covered with feathers. The clawed arms, which had previously developed to grasp and seize prey, began to play a new role in the animal's aerodynamics. The membrane that was stretched between the dinosaur's fingers and body served as the primary structure of the dinosaur's wings, despite the fact that they were coated in fuzz. The wings of the dinosaur were similar to the wings of bats, which would not evolve into their modern form for another 100 million years. Take a look at the 10 smallest dinosaurs ever discovered by paleontologists. Number 10. Epidexipteryx Epidexipteryx was a genus of small, theropod dinosaurs that lived from the middle to the end of the Jurassic period. It was about 25 centimeters long without the tail, and about 44 with the tail. The weight of the dinosaur is estimated to be between 164 to 391 grams. The four long tail feathers of Epidexipteryx were its most distinguishing feature. Scientists believe this provided balance for tree climbing rather than assisting in flight. Kai Hong is a genus of small Peruvian theropod dinosaurs from China that lived during the late Jurassic period. This dinosaur was about the size of a duck, with a bony crest and long, ribbon-like feathers on its head. The feathers on its head, wings, and tail were iridescent, with colors that shimmered and shifted in the light, according to an analysis of its fossilized feathers. The Kai Hong is the earliest known animal with asymmetrical feathers, which modern birds used to steer when flying. Despite its inability to fly, this dinosaur's feathers were most likely used to attract mates and keep warm. It was estimated to be 40 centimeters long and only 475 grams in weight. Aurornis is a genus of extinct Anchornithid theropod dinosaurs from China's Jurassic period. Aurornis is one of the earliest avians discovered, and maybe the most primitive avian dinosaur ever discovered. The animal's fossil evidence predates that of Archaeopteryx, widely regarded as the earliest bird species by about 10 million years. It was estimated to be 40 centimeters long and 260 grams in weight. Archaeopteryx In 1861, the first Archaeopteryx was discovered in Bavaria, southern Germany. Scientists have only studied 12 skeletons of the 150 million-year-old creature since then, some of which are fragmentary. Archaeopteryx is a transitional fossil from dinosaur to bird. Even so, it may surprise some people that this rare, crow-sized creature could maybe fly during its lifetime. According to the researchers, Archaeopteryx Albert Stoferi was a better flyer than the other Archaeopteryx specimens. It was estimated to be 36 centimeters long and 130 grams in weight. Ichi was discovered by a farmer in rustic China in 2007. It is the first dinosaur with convincing evidence of a skin membrane for a wing, similar to that of a bat or flying squirrel. It was roughly the size of a large pigeon and had unusual feathers, as well as a huge novel, elongated bone that jutted out from its wrist called the styliform, which helped support the wing membranes. They are among the smallest dinosaurs known, having evolved to live in trees and fly by gliding or flapping. Next, Ambopteryx. Ambopteryx is a strange scansoriopterygid theropod that lived around 160 million years ago in what is now China. It had skin stretched between elongate fingers, possibly forming a membranous wing. Most theropods were ground-dwelling carnivores, but Ambopteryx preferred the trees and subsisted on insects, seeds, and other plants. It was unable to compete with other dinosaurs that lived in trees and early birds and it went extinct in just a few million years. It struggled to fly and could only clumsily glide between the trees where they lived. It was estimated to be 32 centimeters long and 300 grams in weight. Isenopteryx 
Isenopteryx is known from a single fossil specimen that contains the nearly complete skeleton of a subadult or adult individual. The specimen is about 30 centimeters long, which is extremely small for a non-avian dinosaur. Unlike most trodontids, the snout was much shorter than the diameter of the eye socket. It had wings that were roughly the same size as those found in the closely related Anchiornis. An unusual arrangement of the wing bones would have prevented any flapping motion. It was estimated to be 100 grams in weight. Brevoceratops Brevoceratops was a 20 cm long ceratopsian dinosaur that lived in Mongolia during the late Cretaceous period. There has been much speculation that Brevoceratops may be synonymous with the genus Bagaceratops. Brevoceratops belong to the Ceratopsia, a group of herbivorous dinosaurs with parrot-like beaks that thrived during the Cretaceous period in North America and Asia. Number 2. Scansoreopteryx Although the exact formation of this tiny dinosaur is still unknown, it was discovered in Liaoning, China. It lived during the Middle or Late Jurassic period, roughly 164 million years ago. The dinosaur's size is not well known because there are only a few specimens, one of which is a juvenile. The juvenile was only the size of a sparrow. It was notable for having a long, third finger with feathers attached. Typically, theropod dinosaurs and birds have preserved feathers on their second fingers. It was estimated to be 13 centimeters long and 6.8 grams in weight. And number one, Epidendrosaurus. The Epidendrosaurus is a species of non-avian Scansoreopteryx maniraptoran dinosaur. It is an insectivore with an unusually long third finger that it uses to pierce wood in order to feed on the grubs and other arthropods that live beneath the woody plants. The tiny Epidendrosaurus was about the size of a domestic pigeon. It lived a tree-dwelling lifestyle. It was estimated to be 13 centimeters long and 6.7 grams in weight. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching. We will see you positively in the next one. Take care.